Rockstar Games got its start on the PC in 1997 with the original Grand Theft Auto. While it found its greatest success on consoles like the PlayStation 2, almost all of their major releases found their way onto the PC at one time or another. However, there is one glaring exception to this rule, and that game is Red Dead Redemption. It's been seven years since the original release of Red Dead on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and with the sequel planned for release this year, it seems like the time for a PC part of the game has come and gone. But why exactly has this game, that has received so many accolades both critically and commercially, not found a second life on the PC like so many other Rockstar games? Well, there's actually a reason preventing Red Dead Redemption from coming to PC, and it's a pretty sad one, from what i found. When Red Dead Redemption was first released in 2010, Rockstar never mentioned a potential release for any platforms other than the Xbox 360 and the PS3. The first time Rockstar responded to the fan requests for a PC port was in 2011 in a Q&A on Rockstar's blog. They had this to say. We hope that the announcement that LA Noir is coming to PC this fall and the knowledge that our next big game, Max Payne 3, will have a PC release plus that we've released both Grand Theft Auto 4 and the episodes from Liberty City for PC, we can finally put to rest any misconceptions that we've abandoned the PC platform. We do know that, yes, there is just one title absent from our PC release plans. That game, of course, being Red Dead Redemption. And of course, we're well aware that some fans have been asking for it. All we can say is that whenever it is viable, technically, developmentally, and business-wise, for us to release a game for the PC, or any other particular platform, we will and we usually do. Unfortunately, that is just not the case 100% of the time for all platforms. To PC gamers, we hope that between the Grand Theft Auto titles and the forthcoming L.A. Noir and Max Payne 3, you'll have plenty of great Rockstar action to enjoy. Now I don't think that's the answer fans were hoping for. An interesting part to highlight from the statement is right here, when Rockstar says, Whenever it is viable, technically, developmentally, and business-wise, for us to release a game for PC, we will and we usually do. Well, we all know that business-wise, Red Dead Redemption would have made a ton of sense coming to PC, considering just how many copies the game sold on consoles. So, could technical or developmental issues be the reason why Red Dead never got a PC port? This is going to require a little bit more investigation. In 2015, former Rockstar employee Chris Roberts shed some light on the PC version of Red Dead Redemption on a live Twitch stream. He said, I don't think there was ever an intention to have a PC version of Red Dead Redemption. I was actually super shocked that they did a PC version of Grand Theft Auto V. Obviously in development, we were all PC based and had it running for Win32 clients for the entire development. But as far as the licensing for the consoles and stuff, it was pretty much always going to be an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 title. To the best of my recollection, we never even seriously talked about optimizing it for PC. Now there's definitely something fishy going on here. Most of Rockstar's most recent games, including Grand Theft Auto 4, Max Payne 3, L.A. Noir, and most recently GTA 5, received PC ports and most of them used Rockstar's Rage engine. So why was Red Dead Redemption, which was also built using the Rage engine, specifically left out? There has to be a reason why Rockstar, a company that traditionally released their games on PC, never had any intention to bring Red Dead Redemption to the platform. Finally, in 2016, a detailed behind-the-scenes perspective on the development of Red Dead Redemption was provided on NeoGAF by Ash735, a former Rockstar employee. He had this to say when explaining why Red Dead Redemption never made it to the PC. It's a miracle it even works on consoles. It was slapped together and rushed around until things just made sense. Unlike other Rockstar titles from that generation, it uses a subset build of the engine. To clear it up, here's how Rage is broken down. Rage ERB1, Rockstar presents Table Tennis. Rage ERB2, Grand Theft Auto 4, Midnight Club LA, and Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City. Rage ERB3, Max Payne 3, and Grand Theft Auto 5 with Grand Theft Auto Online. Rage is developed by Rockstar San Diego, the studio that handles the Midnight Club and Red Dead series. For Red Dead Redemption though, it uses neither ERB2 or ERB3. 
It's like a highly customized split-off version of ERB2 mixed with some RB3 features. Think of it like a 2.5. The code for that was a complete mess and changes were made daily without being documented during development. And as such, no PC version of the code was ever made as they strictly focused on getting the Xbox 360, which was the main focus of Rage during ERB1 and ERB2, and PlayStation 3 version of the game stable. After Red Dead Redemption, Rockstar used the year in which LA Noir was being pushed, which doesn't use Rage, to heavily rework Rage for a new build which took advantage of both PC and PlayStation 3 features, as well as pushing the Xbox 360 to its limits. This resulted in ERB 3, which debuted with Max Payne 3, which of course had a brilliant PC version compared to the previous PC releases, which at the time was Grand Theft Auto 4 slash Episodes from Liberty City. The only way Rockstar could do a remaster of Red Dead Redemption is if they took the game itself and transferred it over to ERB 3 and then ported it to PC, which in turn would allow PS4 and Xbox One versions too. But to salvage that mess of a code and actually put that amount of work into it would cost a lot of man hours. It's not because they just hate PC gamers, etc. or anything silly like that. It really is because the game itself is a coded mess and it's a surprise it got stable on 360 and PS3. If you look at the assets yourself, you can even see things like audio and textures thrown in last minute, not packed in the archives properly, etc as an example of how things were being thrown around right up till gold with the game. So there you have it. The mystery solved. And unfortunately, it's not a very happy resolution. The Code of Red Dead Redemption, one of the greatest games of all time, is a complete mess. It's in shambles. As a result, it will probably never be released on PC. It will never receive an updated port on the PS4 or Xbox One. And to me, personally, that's sad. So unless a miracle happens, I guess we'll just have to dust off our old PlayStation 3s and 360s and play those in order to enjoy this classic game. However, not all hope is lost. Some very talented Red Dead Redemption fans have come together and plan to create a mod of GTA 5 that brings the entire map from Red Dead Redemption to GTA Wait. Wait, what happened? Wait, it got- wait, it got shut down? They shut down the Red Dead mod for GTA 5? What the fu- So that's about all for today. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, because I have a ton of awesome Red Dead Redemption and GTA 5 content planned as we get closer and closer to the big launch of Red Dead Redemption 2. My next video will be focusing on the all-new Project Scorpio. We received some big updates on the mysterious new platform from Microsoft over the last couple of weeks. But what does it mean for Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, it actually might mean more for the game than you initially think. So until then everyone, take care.